Hi there, and welcome to Mr. C's presentation on decimal place value. If you don't know what place value is, you're not watching the right video, there's another video for you. Uh, this is about place value as it pertains particularly to decimals and numbers beyond the decimal point. Okay, We're going to learn a little bit about how it gets smaller the further beyond the decimal point you get. Okay, so go ahead, ask it. You ask it every time. It's an important question. Why do I need to know this? Why is this even important? Well, it's going to help you with fractions and percents. Decimals, fractions, and percents are all very closely related. I usually like to teach decimals first because they look the most like whole numbers. And they're going to continue to come up again and again and again in math. So let's learn about decimals first, and then later on we'll talk about fractions and percents. Uh, and knowing the names of decimal places is going to help you know how big of a piece you're dealing with. Because that's what decimals are. Okay, If you ever see a decimal point, we'll see one in a moment, any number that comes after that is just telling you how big of a piece you're dealing with. Okay, Because we're not talking about a whole. I'm talking about 1 or 10 or 20. We're talking about little pieces of things, sometimes big pieces of things. Okay, Anything beyond the decimal point is just a piece. So let's go. Let's take a look. In this lesson, we're only going to give names to the place values of, of all the different place values that come beyond the decimal point. You should already know the ones that come before the decimal point. Okay, so if you don't, or if you're going, what, wait, hold on a second, let me just rehash that really quick. So here's the decimal point. When I say a decimal point, it's a, it's a little period, and it comes inside of a number. So you know this is the ones place, and this is the tens place, and this is the, did you say hundreds place? If you didn't, maybe you need to learn place values for whole numbers first. But yes, this is the hundreds place, the thousands place, the 10,000, 100,000, million, 10 million, 100 million, billion, trillions. Okay, and it goes on and on and on and on forever. Now, the other side of the decimal point is where we start getting into little pieces. And these also have names in a very similar pattern to the pattern that we see on the left side of the decimal point. We're gonna also have a similar pattern on the right side with the names. So the first place value, is called the tenths place. I'm going to write that down. T E N T H S. Okay, tenths. Say it with me. Tenths. It's not like you have a lisp. It's not tens. It's tenths. Tenths. Okay, you're going to sound really weird when you say it, okay, for a little bit, but you'll get used to it. It's the tenths. You go, wait a minute. Why isn't it the once? Well, there is no place value called the once, okay? And after the tenths comes, guess what? I hope you said hundredths, H-U-N-D-R-E-D. -E and then here's the hard part. I just spit all over my computer screen. Hundredths. Everyone say it with me. Hundredths. Right, so the first place value is the tenths. The second place value is the hundredths. Then can you guess what comes after hundredths? Let's see, this goes ones. Well, we already said there's not a once. And then tens, hundreds, thousands. <gasps> this is the thousandths. Okay, so it starts out just like thousand. T H O U S A N D. And then T H S. Thus. Say thousandths. Okay, let's start from the beginning. Tenths, hundredths, thousandths. I'm going to make this H a little bigger so we know it's an H. Good. Tenths, hundreds, thousandths. Guess what comes after thousandths? Did you say ten thousandths? If you did, you're right. Whoa. Is it going to keep going just like on the other side of the decimal point? It is. D, T, H, S. Okay. Ten thousandths. Okay. Say thousandths. Ten thousandths. Good. What do you think is going to come after? If there was a number here, let's say there was a, a one here, right? That one would be in the hundred thousandths place. And then if there was one after that, right? Let's say there was a three after that. Well, the three would be in the, what comes after hundred thousandths? Right. The millionths. Whoa. Do you see how it's a mirror reflection? Okay. Think of like the ones place in the middle. I'm going to show you. Let's see. So we've got the ones place here. And then look, we got the tens. 
and the hundreds. I'm just going to do an abbreviation. Okay. Abbreviation means a short way of writing it. The hundreds. And then we have the thousands, right? You know this, don't you? And then we have the ten thousands, right? Right, and then after that would be the millions and 10 millions and 100 millions and billions. Look, it's a mirror reflection. So if you look at the ones place here, and imagine the ones place was in the middle. Well, the ones place doesn't double, but look, everything else does. Tens, tenths, hundreds, hundredths, thousands, thousandths, ten thousands, hundred thousandths, or ten thousandths, I should say. Okay, and then hundred thousands, hundred thousandths, millions, millionths, okay? So you can kind of think of it like that. So if you know your place value on this side of the decimal point, you know your place value on this side. All you do is skip the ones because there's no ones. Okay, say it with me right now. There is no ones. There is no ones. All right, I hope you said it. Anyways, cool. So you're going to need to work on memorizing these names or really just remembering the pattern. Okay, if you can remember the pattern, you're good to go. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a quick look back or... Take, have just a quick discussion about what we learned. Well, we learned the names of the place values beyond the decimal point. Tenths, hundredths, thousandths. Just remember that little thss, the THS. Thss, all right, comes at the end. And we learned that decimals are going to come up again in math. All right, and they're going to come up right now because you are going to try it. That's right. I want you to write a number. It's going to be a big number. and There's going to be a lot of place values, okay? We're going to start out by writing a decimal point. Remember what it looked like? If you don't, back up the video. Uh, then I want you in this number to put a four in the tenths place. And we're going to keep going here. I want you to put a six in the ones place. And then you're going to put a nine in the hundredths place. Careful. Okay, I want you to watch and see when you see the thss, the THS, and when you don't, because that's going to tell you where it's going to go. So, so if you look, right, the ones place... Well, that's going to be on the left side of the decimal point. The hundredths, that's going to be on the right side of the decimal point. Ooh, the tens, no THS there. That's going to be on the left side of the decimal point, and so on and so forth. Okay, and so I want you to then put a two in the tens place, a five in the thousandths place, and a three in the hundreds place. I think that was it, right? Okay, so good. I hope this helps. Have fun practicing and learning about decimals. We're going to move on to kind of the size of decimals and how big they are when we're thinking of them after this. All right? Thank you. And good luck.